Hey guys, it's me. I'm back with another video. I have, hold on. My little baby wants to say hi. He just got a bath. But today we're talking about how to get rid of ingrowns, um, dark marks in the bikini area, anything related to shaving, waxing, hyperpigmentation in the groin area. Nobody likes it, it's not cute, and it's normally due to the over exfoliation of using a razor or waxing too often or just ingrown hairs not being able to come out of the skin and scarring your skin. So me and my puppy, well, I'm gonna put him down before I really start the information. We're gonna talk about the five easy steps to get rid of that. You don't need to live with that. There are remedies, there are ways to get rid of it. So let's get right into it. I'm feeling extra Spanish today with my big hoop earrings and my bum bigger than my head. But if you know me, I always got a bun in my head. I try to be a little cuter for YouTube, but that doesn't always happen. So plan on getting the real me. Anyways, first step, step number one, is to stop shaving. Shaving cuts the hair. Let's say you're shaving here, right? It cuts the hair right at the surface. So within two to three days, let's say you cut it here, it comes right back up. There's no longevity in shaving. And then you're gonna keep shaving and keep shaving, keep giving yourself more opportunity for ingrowns, for hyperpigmentation, for just discomfort in that area. And that's really not what we want. So every time you shave, just think about it. You're putting blades to your skin. Blades cut, they cut the hair. They can also leave little micro tears that you can't visibly see. I mean, you might nick yourself once or twice and you see the bleeding there, but it gives little micro tears every time you shave. And that also can be a major cause of your discoloration. So the first thing is to just please stop shaving. Find other methods, find an esthetician in your area or a waxing place. It's painful, but it's worth it. You go less, like you don't have to go every or wax every two to three days. Like it's once a month, every four to six weeks. It lasts. So what happens when you wax? You have a hair that came out of the skin, right? When you wax, you pull the hair completely out from the root. So it has to grow back from all the way down here, all the way back up to re-pierce the skin, which takes about four to six weeks. So you have the longevity of being hairless with waxing. I mean, there are pros and cons to waxing like with everything else, but if you are looking for a hair removal, waxing or laser will be like your best bet if you are a candidate for laser. So like I said, I didn't actually make an official rule number two, but rule number two is to wax or get laser hair removal. Like I said earlier, it does last a lot longer. You'll be a lot more happy with the results. And there's also a lot less skin damage. So like I said, with the shaving, you're, you're making little micro tears every time that you shave. But with waxing, you won't do that. You'll see less hyperpigmentation, less irritation to the skin. So overall, it's just a better method of hair removal. So if you're in the Tampa area, you can always see me, but see anybody. Anybody, I, of course, do your research, make sure they're licensed, insured, know what they're doing. <laughs> but other than that, anybody will do. There are proper ways to waxing, but this isn't the video for that. I'm sure you've seen my other videos. I also have um, how to speed wax if you're interested in how to wax, but if you're watching this video, that's probably not what you're here for. Step number three is exfoliation. Exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate. We're constantly losing skin, dead skin, and that dead skin, I'm gonna show you how to get an ingrown on my hand. So you wax, right? Hair comes out from the root. Hair is growing back. Hair is weaker. They grow thinner when you wax, so it's weaker to penetrate through the dead skin barrier. So what happens is the hair tries to come up and it curls right back down, causing an ingrown. If you don't exfoliate this top layer of dead skin, that's what happens and that's what's caused those painful bumps, those long hairs that's underneath the skin. That's not what we want. So what you're gonna wanna do is find a good exfoliation. It could be a granular scrub. Um, it can be the exfoliating gloves. You can find those in Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Target, whatever. They're just really hard, hard gloves that you really scrub, scrub, scrub. Make sure that you take all the dead skin off. I personally just use a washcloth. 
you can be rough. Like <laughs> You're not gonna hurt yourself with any of these methods. Take it, scrub as hard as you can. Make sure you're getting all the dead skin off. I promise you're not gonna break anything. It's okay to rub and scrub and get everything off because that's how you're gonna get that good exfoliation so that hair can penetrate through the skin and not cause an ingrown and grow right back in. So exfoliate really well. Also with exfoliation, it leads to better product penetration. So that goes to my next point, which is step number four? Four, yeah, we're on number four, which is to treat the area. So we can't go backwards in time. If you already have ingrowns or discoloration from previous ingrowns, any scarring, stuff like that, this is the time that you treat. So you're gonna first remove the hair properly, then you're gonna make sure you're exfoliating at least two to three times a week. Make sure you're getting all that dead skin off of the area. And then you're gonna treat the area. So we wanna treat the area with something like, you can use Panoxyl. Panoxyl is a really good um, cleanser. That It's a drugstore cleanser. It helps break down the dead skin and help prevent any bumps or irritation in that area. Make sure you're not using it inside, just on the top to really clear up that area. So another great cleanser for any ingrowns or irritation is Hibby Cleanse. I believe it's H-I-B-I-C-L-E-A-N-S-E, -I -I -E something like that. I'll put it here somewhere. Hibby Cleanse is really good, kills all that bacteria that can cause the ingrowns, like the sweating, um, moistness, stuff like that. It kills all of that. Usually Hibby Cleanse is what they give prior to surgery. So you clean all the areas so there's no bacteria or anything growing or that can infect an open wound, which is essentially what waxing is. You're opening the follicle, so. Also 10 Skin helps with the prevention of ingrowns. So even if you're not looking to treat or have existing problems, you can use it as a prevention method, which is awesome, preventing any further scarring or anything like that. As for the last thing that I would recommend you to use is called PFB, P as in Peter, F as in Frank, B as in boy, PFB Vanish plus Chroma Bright. So this product does have a little hefty price tag on it. <laughs> but if you're looking for something that's really gonna work, you're really gonna see the difference in taking off all of those ingrowns or it helps with ingrowns, but it also helps with the hyperpigmentation. The Chroma Bright in it is what helps with the hyperpigmentation. And that would clear you up immensely. That is a game changer. You will see the biggest difference. So I recommend if you're really having those issues, Google it, find it, buy it. It is great. Now, I do wanna put a little disclaimer. If you do decide to use the PFB Chroma Bright or PFB Banish plus Chroma Bright, there we go, Chroma Bright. If you do decide to use that, that is a chemical in itself. So it helps with all the hyperpigmentation, like I said, but you cannot use any other physical exfoliation. So throw out everything that I said about the exfoliation with the gloves and the the gloves and the granular scrubs or washcloths or anything like that. You have to be super gentle when you're using this product because it is really working to exfoliate the skin, get rid of that top layer, get rid of any hyperpigmentation. So do not use anything harsh in that area aside from that product. Again, I will have it listed down below. If you're really having this issue, this is, this is what's gonna change change everything. I hope you all enjoyed my five steps to getting rid of ingrowns or any discoloration bumps in the bikini line area. If you do want to see more videos like this, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, it really helped me out. I enjoy making content like this for you. I feel like if I can learn something from you guys, you can learn something from me and we just take each other's information. So please, if you have any other videos or any other advice that you would like from me, leave it in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you all. Thanks so much for making it to the end. Love always.